started back in the 50s when my father was waiting in line at an ice cream stand. And he was waiting to get ice cream. And the thought went through his head that, why can't we get ice cream delivered to our homes? Hi, welcome to another episode of the Philadelphia Business Leaders video series. I'm your host, Kearney Warren, and today I'm speaking with John Conway, the president of the one and only Mr. Softy. I want to start with the journey. Share with us how this all began, from the beginning to where we are 60 years later today. Um, as you might know or might not know, back in the 50s, uh, trucks delivered everything to homes. It was bread, milk, uh, eggs, uh, fruit. Uh, there was even a, an amusement truck that used to come down our street, I remember as a little boy, that you could ride an amusement on a truck. So uh, the idea came to their head and he got together with my uncle and they put soft serve machines into a truck. And it started on St. Patrick's Day in 1956. They drove around Philadelphia giving out green ice cream. And that was the start of Mr. Softy. Uh, they started a small garage in Philadelphia in, in 56, and it grew so fast that in 1959, they moved to Runnymede, New Jersey, where we are today as our company headquarters. In 1960, they had built over 1,500 trucks in the one year. It, it, the business exploded in the early 60s. Um, in the 70s, things kind of contracted a little bit because they ran into, it, it grew so fast it was uncontrollable. So things were contracted a little bit in the 70s. 80s, in the 80s, things leveled off. And then in the 90s, there was a back to a, a steady growth. In 1998, my uh, cousin and myself came into the business. Um, we had been in the business prior. We all, our whole family has driven an ice cream truck at one point, yeah. 2000. Uh, my cousin and I took over the business, and uh, we've had a steady, gradual, controlled growth since. As far as products, it's, it's limited to the amount of products that you can come up with every year. Uh, the back of the truck is a small kitchen area, and there's only so much product that you can put in there. Uh, so we haven't really done a whole lot of uh, product year after year. Uh, the, the individual dealers have the option to put what they want on the truck, whether it's uh, snow cones or popsicles or that kind of thing. Uh, basically, 75% of their business is, is ice cream cones, so there's not that much of a difference. You've been very successful. What do you consider to be the keys to success for yourself and other entrepreneurs? Well, one of the things that we have been doing for years and that was uh, probably my father's doing is we're very cost conscious. We don't uh, splurge on things and, and uh, we keep control under our costs. And I think as far as a business person is concerned is they have to be very careful of, of how they spend their money. Uh, we have no debt here. Uh, we haven't had any debt here. Uh, as far as them people coming into the business, it's a very inexpensive franchise to buy. As far as I know, we're the most inexpensive franchise that you can get into. Um, and I think with that, you can get started without being in the hole, uh, costing you a ton of money to, to start out with. So I think that's one of the reasons why our people are so successful is that they don't start out owing a whole bunch of money. The biggest challenge is after being in business for 60 years, everybody wants to copy us. So there's, there's constantly a never ending battle with infringers, people that want to use our music, want to use our name, uh, our logos, et cetera, et cetera. And that has been the biggest challenge uh, since I've been in this, here uh, in 1998. What we have to do is we end up taking them to court. It's, it's very costly, but we have to protect the people that are on our, in our system, our franchisees, and that's why we continue to do this. Uh, but that has been the biggest challenge in the last 10 to 15 years. I would imagine that marketing and branding is important to the success of Mr. Softy. You just talked about the music and the logo. What has been the most successful strategies and why? Well, you'll probably be surprised at my answer for this, but back in the 60s, uh, when things were booming, there was a lot of TV advertising going on. 
uh, there were a lot of our ads were on children's shows. And it was determined that, and that got very, very expensive. And my father always believed, and, and to this day we still believe, that a well-maintained truck, a clean truck, good customer service is our best marketing that we can do because these trucks go by your house every single day. And that's the moving billboard. Our company is not as big as you would imagine. We have a total of 10 employees that control the whole company. The, the base is there's 650 franchisees out there that make the company look and appear bigger. But we keep our control cost and growth under control. What are your thoughts and ideas of doing it the right way so that the company lives on for future generations? Uh, I'm very fortunate uh, that, well, first of all, I have been thinking about this. I'm 62 years old. My partner, my cousin, he's 60 years old. So the thoughts have gone through our mind about uh, not working forever. <laughs> I'm fortunate enough that I have two sons in the business right now that are more than capable of taking over and probably more capable than I am of taking over and running this, this business. Uh, and if my uncle and father are still alive, I'm sure they would approve. Well, John, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today about uh, the Mr. Softy brand and organization. Thank you so much. You're welcome.